Aloha, Rich Alverson here, and uh, this is ITS 227, and I'm going to continue with uh, the challenge activities in Chapter 6 on JavaScript. So let me uh, share again. And uh, the last video I just made was uh, 1 and 2. I'm going to try to keep these videos short. Let me start my time. And uh, so I'm going to, so now I'm going to do three, uh, the chapter challenge activity three. And here it talks about if statements, and we all know about if statements, you know, how it, it in, in, um, this is, okay, so this is the first. So a block, uh, we talked about blocks, uh, you know, a, a block in Python is indented, a block in JavaScript is, is surrounded by curly braces, and they still indent. But the indenting doesn't do anything. You don't need to indent. Okay. See, look, he's, they still indent. You know, look, they're still indenting, but they don't need to indent. They can put it all in one line if they want to. Okay. They don't. They can have no indentation at all. Uh, if if this if they they want to, it doesn't matter. Uh, the indentation is just uh, you know, that's you know preference, like like how you write your variable names. It's preference. <clears throat> and there's but it's the same things. There's if condition, then there's an else. Uh, there's uh, else. There's also else if. Uh, so it's so this is all that that. And then the these uh, comparison operators are the same. You know the same. Uh, whatever Unicode is, that's doesn't that important. Uh, you know you can indent stuff. See, you know, look, look, look. They're indenting just like Python, but they don't have to. Okay, but they do, and and so what what Python basically did is with Python you have to indent, and uh, so it, Python forces you to to do this kind of structure, which is great for documentation. Uh, all right, so um, there's a solution, and uh, so let's do this challenge activity here. So there's how many challenge activities are there? Just one in the middle here. All right. Uh, write an if if else statement that that if user tickets is greater than five. If parentheses, I think you got to put parentheses. If uh, user tickets is greater than or equal to five. If that's true, then do this. Awards, award points equals 10. Else, um, award points equal user tickets. Bonus D. All right. Now, uh, they probably don't like you to do this, so let's just do like that. And I don't know. This is the way to do it. Like this. There we go. And then we put this down here, I guess. And then what do they like? Else if. Oh, no, we're just doing else. Uh, well, else goes on the, else goes on the next line. Okay. It's their convention. And then uh, this goes on the next slide. And then we put this down here. Okay, that's how they like it, oh, but it doesn't need to be that way. Anyway, does this work? Great. <clears throat> um, what's next? Uh, if write an FL statement, if a uh, num difference is less than string difference, Uh, then uh, total difference equals minus 25. Um, else, else uh, total difference uh, equals num difference. I'll let you know a secret. You don't even need to you can do it this way if you want to. You don't need parentheses around that. 
All right, does this work? Yes, very good. Okay, what's next? Oh, but of course this is sloppy. You should do it the way we did the other one. Or so they say. What's this one? Given, compare the given strings and display the string that is alphabetically first. Uh, if first name one is greater than We test it with different names. Okay. So I guess it isn't that. Uh, but I'm going to say greater than the first name two. Two. If that's the case, then uh, what am I supposed to do? Display. That's that console log thing, right? Um, first name one. Else console log first name two. Is this right? What did I do wrong? What, uh, what, what am I doing wrong? Oh. This is wrong. Uh, I don't want to print the one that's bigger first. This prints the one that's bigger first. Uh, this prints the one that's bigger. I, I'm supposed to print the one that's smaller, that, or that comes before, not comes after. So let's try again. I'm just going to turn this into a less than. See if that works. Yeah, all right, that's better. <clears throat> Okay, what's the last one? Compare the user number uh, with compare number. Okay, if user number, if there's some keys, if user number uh, is uh, Uh, well, if user number is equal to um, compare number, uh, then uh, um, console log um, Oh, oh, okay. Uh, there's strictly ego. Oh, God, I see strict. Okay, first, first, uh, display the numbers are not equal if they're different. But then display numbers are not identical if they're not identical. Okay, so, uh, so if they're not, okay, uh, okay, if they're not equal, if they're not equal. Let me see. Uh, if they're not equal, then say numbers are not equal. Okay. That's all. And then, uh, then I do if user number is not equal, strictly equal, then say variables are not identical. Variables are not identical. I think this is what they're after. Yes, it is. Oh. This is what, did I get this right? Yours has no output.
Anyway, that's the right answer. Okay, very good. Uh, you can testing logical. You can uh, do anding operation, and in Python, it's the word and. I'm pretty sure. And you can do or operation in Python. It's the word or, and like that. Okay, so in uh, JavaScript and in and, and in every other language, uh, it's this. This is for and, and this is for or. All right, uh, it's ten a ten a. It's ten minutes. This video is, is ten minutes long. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, stop it and and start a new one. Thanks for watching.